Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the ninth episode of the third season of Shokugeki no Soma, or Food Wars. So, last episode, Soma wrecked Aizen in a Shokugeki. Pretty much the essence of the show, really. So, great to see. Great to see. When you can win a totally rigged battle, you know you're pretty good. So, yeah, that was a great way to, to solve the situation. So, I guess we'll see what happens now. Three, two, one, play. Third plates. Nine. Yeah, I guess this is still happening though. <laughs> yeah, as it should be. We'll stab them. Stab them. Yeah, they're getting a, a message from the boss to, to stop. Oh no. Those are some magical glasses. As soon as they go over his eyes, they completely look normal. Instead of being mouths. You know it. Soma's awesome. <laughs> Done rest me, my boy. Yeah, something to be proud of. I bet he would have. So yeah, he didn't get a seat in the early 10 or anything, but he protected what mattered to him. Yeah, you don't seem all that concerned about that stuff. I mean, you're probably right, but it'd be nice if you showed a bit more concern and help. I barely even recognize him when he's wearing clothes. I'm not even joking. Yeah, good thing. Yeah, shoo shoo, get out of here. Is that? Yep, Soma coming back. You better get a good victory party for this, considering he saved that dorm. Everyone lost their eyes, though. <laughs> you guys can be a bit more grateful. Uh. Ah. Uh. It's okay. Somebody give this girl a head pat. Welcome home. With my cooking skill, of course. <laughs> For protection. Okay, yeah. The dorm is safe for now. See, apparently Satoshi wasn't all that worried about this, but still. Mm. You know, I'll one day finish watching this anime. It doesn't feel like it. It feels like I'm going to be watching this show forever, but... Oh. 
Kampai. Hunting the Survivors. Wow, that's a title. What'd you think? That's not what I call them, but yeah, that's them. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting animation on Soma. He is. No. <laughs> uh, you, of course. <laughs> It just makes me want to do it even more, you know? Of course. <sighs> I bet you do. Oh, you actually showed up. Slightly improved. Not a lot. <sighs> I know, right? <laughs> Not a lot of faith in him. I didn't see much of that these past few episodes, I'm trying to tell you. Oh. Okay, that's something. That's a big improvement right there. That is a good thing. Who better bring Shokeki back to life than Shokugeki Soma? That's kind of his thing. Yeah, that's the Satoshi we know. <laughs> yeah, he Sako and Eri now would not be accustomed to this. Yeah, don't don't let him take your eyes, Eri now. You pure innocent made in you. But if you want to try it yourself, feel free. Uh, yeah, I don't get it either. It is. But I think everyone likes it. Uh, you push buttons, cleans clothes. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's a lot easier than washing it by hand. You brought it up. <laughs> okay, point made, I guess. Because it's what he does. I think he's best to quali- Most qualified to pull off miracles in the show. Yeah, because he's like, oh, you know. She knows Soma pretty well now. It would be Soma, yeah. Who better to do it? I just have a little bit of chills in this scene. 
Yeah, well, if we can give you an apron, that'll be great. No, I've never gotten used to it. There will never be a time where I'm okay with having a naked guy's butt in my face. Wow. Yeah. Of course. Can't have anyone guilty of wrong think in an organization. We really don't. <laughs> I bet. Are you? Are you certain? I'm not. Because she's being influenced by the Polar Star Dormitory. Quite... Quite obviously. Soldiers of Central. I know, right? I should hope so, that's not okay. Apparently. <laughs> oh no, how horrible. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. It kind of does. <laughs> I mean, she can butt me. Yeah, I'm sure some don't mind. Title drop. Ah, uh, okay. They're really not. They don't have a reason to. But that's when he does his most exciting stuff. <laughs> the tongue. Oh. Probably, yeah. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Hall A group. Hall B group. And apparently we're just going to keep calling her that. Oh, Soma, you were a lucky man. We will see. We will see. Yeah, Momo. I still love the cat ears. The hair cat ears. Good to hear. Yes. If only games your list had so much integrity. Yeah. No! Why would you tear it? 
<laughs> okay, I guess that's why. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. But since you'd have to fix it every time. Yeah, I remember that. That was quite incredible. That, that looks delicious. Wow. I want it. Of course. It's to be expected. Yeah, no surprise there. They're not Soma. Down boy. Down boy. <laughs> uh. Someday. Who are you people? <laughs> Apparently his reputation took a hit. Uh... Well... Yeah, I'm sure they're pretty confident. Man, she is so cute. I mean, you're cute too, don't get me wrong. But, you know, a little bit different. I mean, Subaru does something similar, like... Oh, yeah. Erabe. Or will you cry in a corner? But yeah, that, that guy there looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh character. Just look at that character design. <laughs> All together now? <laughs> they, they got both. Provoked. <laughs> Tell him off. Yes. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Think someone's triggered. Oh. <laughs> Kumai. <laughs> Maya. Rentado. So basically, new names to try to remember. Rui. Well, Maya and Rui won't be hard to remember. Hard to. Won't be hard to not. Well, th this should be easy enough to remember, is what I was trying to say. Yo, Alice. Good to see you. It's always nice to see you. Of course. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I, yeah.
I'm not going to call you that. Yeah, she clearly likes it. Oh, no. Yeah, you had to push it, didn't you? You don't want to mess with these two. Okay. Uh, I don't have as much confidence in Rio, but to keep it what his everything was, victory than I do Alice, but it should be fine. He's really good. Okay, if only it was actual fist fight, that'd be cool. Yeah, that's good to hear. I remember that. There was like this three-way thing between him, Hayama, and Soma. Yes, Accelerator. Like, he sounded exactly like Accelerator there. <laughs> I forgot how terrifying that shot was. He could not look anymore like a bad guy if he tried. Like, the only way he could look anymore like a bad guy is if they gave him a Twitter account with a blue check mark next to it. Momo! You lick that spoon. He's on fire. <laughs> uh. <laughs> She's cute, it's adorable, it's fine. <laughs> well, I I have time. <laughs> uh I love you, Momo. <laughs> Everyone has their thing, I guess. But yeah, Fish, Kurokiba, that's his thing. Which I kind of forgot about for a second, but... The Salmon Will Dance. Yeah, that was the ninth episode of the third season of Food Wars. And last episode we had that big victory, but... This episode really puts that victory into context and as the small victory. That it is. Basically all it really amounted to was the dormitory that we love doesn't get broken and there's now kind of a precedent for like defending yourself with Shokugeki against the establishment pretty much. So that's cool. 
And then you got Satoshi who's like, yeah, I wanted to help, but my hands were kind of tied because, you know, political reasons. Which, you know, fair enough. I'm not going to give him too much of a hard time for that. I can clearly see the kind of stuff he has to deal with, but I, it still bothered me a little bit how uninvolved he was in this, how hands-off, but... Yeah, if I understood that one scene correctly, they're just, like, kicking out to these two of the members of the Elite Ten, so... You know, that's unfortunate. But, you know, we do have this new rule in place, which does make things easier for a lot of people. And... Uh... But yeah, Eri now continuing to be influenced by the Polar Star Dormitory, which is cool. She keeps calling it weird and stuff, but she definitely likes the warm, uh, you know, wholesome atmosphere of it and all that. But they were not ready for, Sato for Satoshi in the Naked Apron, so... Yeah, Hisako in particular had an issue with that. But, yeah, you know, it'd be nice if he kept his clothes on more often, but I guess that would just be stifling his creativity and freedom and all that, and we couldn't have that at this open, friendly dorm, but... But, uh, yeah, I don't know how much I have to say about this episode, but... We did get to see plenty of Momo, which I like. Momo's adorable, very cute, you know. She, like, has her stuffed animal and makes sweets, a patissier, whatever you call it. So it's great, you know. She makes some fine chocolate cake. I do enjoy seeing her cook, her unique style. Very fun, very fun. It's nice to see Aizen's reputation took such a big hit by losing to Soma, so. Because here, I mean, he basically said, like, ah, oh, this humiliation, I must get my revenge. But, uh, you know, hopefully that doesn't end up happening. And then we were given four new characters. I don't know their names exactly. There is Maya, Rui, Rentaro, Kumagai. Maybe I do remember their names, but yeah, four new people from, you know, handpicked by our new, our new, uh, dictator. So they're here to handle some of the Shokugeki, I guess. But, uh, yeah, and, and, uh, Kurokiba is gonna be faced off against, I think it was Rentaro, so that'll be cool, you know. At first, they weren't even going to bother with that, but then he provoked Kurokiba too much, and he's like, you know what? You want to go? You want to go, man? Fine, I'll see you in the Shokugeki ring. And that's what led us to this. So hopefully he does well there. He's obviously the one I would root for in that encounter. I'd rather see Alice battle if I was given the choice, but I'll accept this. This is fine. Watching him battle and Alice giving him some encouragement from the sidelines. That's okay. But, uh, and I obviously enjoy Arena taking issue with being called Nakirichan. That's, that's great. I don't know why I enjoy that so much, but I really did. Like, a lot. It's like, how dare you call me that? Uh, that's good. Uh, yeah, you know. That's, uh, that's it, so... Hopefully things go well next episode. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.